Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. The Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, forbade tax collection. Tax collection was something in previous times corrupt rulers they used to do. They used to build big castles and they would live extravagant lives and they would finance their own extravagance by sending their representatives, tax collectors, to knock on the doors of people and to say, give me your money. The people didn't want to give it, they would force them to give them their money. The tax collectors were also corrupt. They'd take a cut, so they had an interest in taking a lot, a lot of money. The money would go to the king. He'd build a build, big castle. Other people would be living in poverty. They'd be struggling. He wouldn't care. The Prophet وسلم, forbade this. The only tax that the Prophet وسلم, collected is called zakat. All of us know about zakat. We pay it every year. In the time of the Prophet ﷺ, this zakat was collected centrally by the Prophet ﷺ. He would go and he would collect it from the tribes that had become Muslim and he would tell them that it was taken from their wealthy people and returned to their poor people. So the purpose of zakat was never for the Prophet وسلم, as head of state to build a big mansion, to live an extravagant life, because he didn't live an extravagant life. He lived a frugal life. But there's something that's really significant. The Prophet وسلم, was forbidden to accept zakat. He told us that zakat لا تحل لمحمد ولا لآل محمد. He said that the zakat funds are not permissible for Muhammad himself, nor are they permissible for the descendants of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He wasn't building a dynasty either. That's why it's so amazing when he died. Who is it that took power? It was Abu Bakr. Is Abu Bakr his descendant? He's not his descendant. After Abu Bakr, who is it that took power? It was Umar. After Umar, who was it that took power? Uthman. None of them were his descendants. Even Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib was not his descendant. The Prophet وسلم, was not an imposter. An imposter would use his position for selfish gain. The Prophet وسلم, forbade taxation. The only tax he collected was zakat. He said zakat was forbidden for himself. He said it was forbidden for his descendants and he lived a difficult and frugal life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and give him peace. We need your support. We want to produce over 100 videos in this series to show the beautiful character of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. This will be a positive response to all the bad things that people are saying about him. If they understood who he was, they wouldn't believe any of those accusations. If you like this video, please support this cause. You can help with as little as a dollar or even with the click of a mouse. Go to discovertheprophet.com or click the link in the description below to find out all the ways that you can help people discover who the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. And don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Also to subscribe to our channel. All of this helps spread this message.